Um, Rachel, how are, how are you feeling? A couple more games left. Um, yeah, how, how are the emotions? Yeah, it's all getting very real. I suppose um, I've had a couple of messages this week just um, wishing me luck for my, my last week of cricket. And yeah, that, that's probably had it hit home a little bit, to be honest. But yeah, I think just from a, a general club point of view, really keen to make sure we finish on a, a bit of a high, not just for my sake, but, but more for the team, given it's been a little bit of a disappointing season on field. As it's approached the end, have you become, I guess, more reflective on, on your career and the emotions, I guess, that they heightened? Uh, not yet. I think we've just been so busy going from one game to the next. But, yeah, I'm sure at some point over the weekend it'll probably hit me like a ton of bricks. But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to have my family here. They're, they're coming up from Melbourne. So, yeah, it should be a, a really special weekend. Hasn't been the ideal season for you guys. What, what has been the messaging heading into the last couple of games? I think it's just really, you know, not getting too caught up on the, the outcomes, but just focusing on the, the style of play and, and how we want to finish off. Um, it's been a disappointing season for us. We've just been a bit off the mark, both with bat and, and probably in the field as well. So, yeah, from our point of view, we love playing in the derby, which is tomorrow night, uh, and then finishing with the strikers. So, yeah, just looking to finish as strong as possible. What are you going to do on Monday? Uh, I've already been worded up that we're going out, so I don't know where we're going and what we're doing, but I've just been told that I've got to be somewhere on Monday, so I'll, I'll hopefully um, the girls have got a, a good day in store. Have you put much thought into what the future holds for you? Oh, look, I think for now I'd like to have a bit of a break. Uh, I'm probably, yeah, just need to freshen up a little bit, and, and so I'll see you out the rest of this, this year and just spend some time with my family, and then... Yeah, look, at I suppose what opportunities might be on the horizon next year. Uh, I'd love to stay involved in the game, but exactly what that looks like at the moment, I'm still just working through. Could you follow in your, your old coach Matthew Watts' footsteps and go into coaching? Coach England? <laughs> uh, oh, look, you know, funnily enough, he, he was the type of coach who always encouraged players to, to finish off their accreditations and those sorts of things. So he actually got me through my coaching accreditation around this time last year. So... Yeah, who knows? I'm pretty open-minded about how it all looks, um, and yeah, we'll, we'll yeah ha have a have a look at what those opportunities might be. When you announced your retirement, we were speaking about the leadership of the team, especially since um, Meg's still taking a break. Since then, Elisa's been named as vice captain. Have you been talking to her about <laughs> styles of leadership and then you know, sort of giving her some advice? Nah, not at all. I, I think um, Elisa's got some wonderful experience under her belt. She's done a fantastic job in New South Wales and. Although she didn't have a, a title previously in that Australian team, she certainly was a, a fantastic leader in that environment. So, yeah, I've got no no doubt that she'll bring her own style to it. Um, and I think it will be fantastic for the group, probably help freshen things up a little bit. There's a, a new coach and, and a new captain as well. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching it all. Do you think you'll be emotional walking out on Sunday? Do you have to be a fan of that? Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, it's... It, I'm sure, you know, just having all my family here and those sorts of things. Um, but yeah, by the same token, I'm looking forward to it. I think this is a really great place to finish. Um, I've got some wonderful memories on this ground. So yeah, looking forward to, to finishing up in North Sydney.